Salute, salute. Salute to God, the most high, the creator of everything. Salute to all the new subscribers and salute to my day ones. I got to leave that right there. You know, it's been storming down here in Sunshine, Florida. You know, we got bipolar weather. Um, so, I done been asleep all day, y'all. So, I'm on my late night thing where I start studying and doing my research and putting together other videos. I'm up late night in the uncut PJs talking to, like, a long time friend and I realized I was letting a great conversation pass me because this is something that a lot of people can connect with so with no further ado you know I'm gonna bring you know what I'm saying my lifelong friend you know what I'm saying meet back on the phone and and I want to pick up where we left off we were talking about leaving the hey you hey you there meek yeah okay so we left off talking about why well, I remember saying something about why I didn't want to store any DNA. And you were talking about the advantage of actually doing DNA. Can you pick up from there and what you said someone told you? Well, I was told that I have a look alike. I was told this when I was about 17, 18 years old that I have a female that looks just like Maybe she's my sister, maybe she's not. I wouldn't know because I don't know. Never seen her before a day in my life. Would this be in another state? Is it in your city? It's in my state, and it's in a city um, called Haines City. She was located in Haines City, Florida. And I'm located, I was located at the time in Winter Haven, Florida. That's, not, that's where I grew up from. That's, that's where I grew up in. That's where I'm from. That's not far apart. That's that's all Polk County, correct? Yes, it all is. It is all Polk County. Yeah, that's all Polk County. That, that, that's Grady Judd right there. That's Sheriff Grady Judd. So, this is... See, this is what I'm saying. Now, do you believe that this can possibly be a sibling? Um, So, give me your pros to doing DNA testing. Give me your pros. Well, I was about 10. I'm going to tell you what was told to me. I don't know how true it is. I never seen a person. I don't know. I was told when I was about 10 that I looked at like a man that might be my father. But for 49 years, the man I have known as my father is, is deceased. He's and deceased. I was told by this man, which was my father, and I would say he's still my father, that he had no other children other than me. So for this person to tell me when I was about 10 years old that I have some, I, I looks like someone that she knows and it's her son and I look like him, I wouldn't know. The only way I can find out if this man is my father is doing a DNA ancestry test, putting my DNA on fire. Mm. <clears throat> What are the odds? Have anyone in your family ever mentioned anything? Do you have siblings or family in Haines City? Is there anything that links you to Haines City? I have family in Haines City, but my family in Haines City is on my mother's side. My family that is on my father's side is down south. The father that I know all my life is down south. Between down south area in Jacksonville area. Wow. Man, y'all y'all don't understand. It's like it's one oh one AM and, and we've been on the phone, you know, man, you know you get the best conversations with the people you haven't talked to in a long time. And those conversations get deep, you know. Um, I was telling her off camera on some of the things that's going on with my family and some of the blessings and everything. I'm not going to put that out here on camera. Um, but just, is there anyone that can connect to this video? Is there anyone who's found siblings, who's found relatives, who's found moms, dads, whatever, through things like Ancestry.com or just testing your DNA? Are you glad you did it? Are you not so happy you done it? Um, are you basically concerned about leaving that DNA store? Is cloning real? Can your DNA, 
you know, be used in stem cell research. I mean, what are your views on this? This is such a broad topic and it's not a topic that a lot of people touch on. So where are you leaning towards doing a DNA test? I'm literally thinking about it. I started me a ancestor, a ancestor tree, family tree, and I have to. Lately, I have to get my father's family name and I have to get my mother's or my great I have to get my family's my father, mother and father name and my great parents great grandparents on his side to do his part of the family tree and I have to get my great grandmother's side on my mother's side and then it would it, once I do that have that much information in the ancestor family tree it was it would let me know if they know any, if I have any relatives that has done an ancestor family tree, and if I do the DNA part of it, it will let me know if I have any outstanding relatives with the same DNA. Now, has anyone you know, any family members, any friends, anyone that you're associated with, has anyone around you done? this type of research and came back with positive results or shared anything with you of the experience? I had a cousin that did it, but she didn't do it for the um, ancestor part. She did it to find out what was her um, nationality. How far did her nationality go with the family tree? Why am I so why am I so concerned with leaving that DNA behind? Um, it's hard to trust a government that uh, I don't really want to get into the, the politics, but I just feel like if you can make Michael Jackson appear in concert through a hologram and he's been sleeping since like. 2009, 2010. Um, how, what can you do with human DNA? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And I have people that tell me all the time, man, you look like one of my best friends from Indiana. You look just like him. You talk just like him. He's got dreads too. Even when as far as saying that some of these people drive the same vehicles. And it left me thinking like, okay, either we all have a twin somewhere or <laughs> there's some cloning or something going on. And I'm a conspiracy, I'm a conspiracy theorist, okay? So I don't, I don't rule anything out. I know that sounds superficial. You know, I don't rule anything out. You know, if anyone else believes in the ability of our government to clone, if they can clone meats, I think they can clone humans. I, I don't know. I don't know. But that's my worry. You know, I don't want anyone to be able to clone and or use any of my DNA. And it affects the world in a negative light. I know that sounds crazy. I've been wanting to do lots of DNA testing. I have to um, get a DNA test done on, uh, on some babies, you know. From, from my past marriage. But other than that, I mean, I pretty much know my nationality. You know, I, I know that my dad's side of the family, you know, the greats and the great greats, they all came from Lola Nassau Island, you know. And they, you know, came here from Miami, Lauderdale, you know, things of that nature. I um, also know that there is white in my family, which is where the last name comes from. Um, and I know about my Indian side. I know about my American side through my mom. But there's lots of other things I could probably find out, the particulars, the specifics, through DNA testing. So what would you recommend? I, I 
mean, if a person is against it, I wouldn't tell nobody to do it. But if my situation goes, for me to be told that I may be the child of someone else, that's a hard, that's a hard pill to swallow. Now, for those reasons, I understand you. That's why I said I have to have some, some, you know, the twins tested as well, you know. So that I understand. But as far as having to send off your DNA, like understand if they pull a tooth, they don't give you that tooth back. Where's that tooth going? Where's that tooth going? When they amputate a limb, when a woman gives birth and they cut the placenta, I mean, like, I mean, think about this. Where is all of that DNA being stored? If you're in and out of the prison system, the jail system, you know, penal system, court system, there's DNA. There's to even get in the army, there's DNA and fingerprints to get in the military. So I wonder about the amount of DNA being stored and how things can just be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? Our DNA being compromised. You understand what I'm saying to you? I wouldn't want my DNA compromised. I want to trust the government to do exactly what they said they would do with this DNA, which is trace my lineage and get back to me with the specifics. Do you trust that that is the only thing that your DNA would be used for or stored for? It's like, I don't trust it, but I'm taking my chance. I'm taking a chance trusting the government saying this is what they're going to do with my family. I mean, because I have had friends um, on post on Facebook that they've done it, and they got great feedback from it, and they were happy. You know, I'm sure finding out, if we're talking about finding family, then yes, I'm never against it. If we're talking about, you know, per, you know, Paternity, I'm never against it. <laughs> but to want to go as far back as... Uh, like I said, I'm not against it. But to want to go back far enough just out of wonder. Just out of concern of how far back your, your of how far back your family tree can go I don't know if I would take that risk you know I would definitely talk to the elders in my family first you know to see what they remember I would visit things like the public library and then I think I would consider something like the DNA you know so, to wrap this up, if there's anyone out there in the world right now wondering if, if they should take a DNA because, you know, maybe they um, haven't been told the truth about who their dad was, who their mom was, who their family is. Maybe there's someone thinking they're adopted right now. What would you tell them right now in this situation concerning DNA testing? If it was the situation that I'm facing, I'll tell you to do it because I've been told for 49 years that my father was my father. And then I was told by the age of 10 that somebody else could be my father. And I never said anything else about it. I just rolled with the person that I know as to be my father for 49 years, to be my father. But the older I get and the more I have, I have kids, I have grandkids, I want to know the truth. And me asking my mom, it won't get told that way. Well, I definitely think that you've enlightened me on the subject. And since I was already ordering a paternity test, you know, for, for the babies, out of my last relationship, you know, I think I'd go as far as actually 
um, ordering one for my ancestry to see how far that goes, and I will keep you informed. So I definitely thank you for this this conversation. It's it's enlightening. I mean, I don't know how many people actually have these conversations in their homes. I don't know how many people across the world, you know, maybe going through this right now or pondering, you know, what's real, what's not real, what's true, what's not true. But this conversation was very eye opening to me, especially due to the things that we discussed off camera. Okay, so it was very eye opening, and um, you let me know how you do this, how everything plays out for you as well. All right. All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you know, brothers and sisters, kings and queens, I never end the video without telling you to get your one on one, your one on one, your one on one with your higher power. There's only one God. There's only one life to live. There's only one savior. There's only one chance at salvation. You know, let's all make the right decision. Let's start holding each other accountable. Let's start um, uniting rather than dividing. Let's stop seeing color and actually start looking at content of character. You know, restore obedience and God's doctrine back into this, this, this dark world we live in. Y'all stay prayed up, stay blessed up, stay meditated up, stay protected, stay real, stay woke, stay uncut, be inspired, be great, be you. And I just want to send a special shout out, you know, to my girl Meek here, you know, for coming on here and I'm um, like really giving me a more positive insight on things like DNA testing and Ancestry.com, the importance, the significance, the relevance of actually knowing who you are of knowing who we are and correcting some of the some of the mistakes that our parents or grandparents <laughs> might have committed you know no one's perfect all right so meek i want to thank you again i know i've held you for a while so queen i'm gonna let you go so you can get your sleep all right i definitely appreciate you or if you want to stay on the phone and chop it up we can stay on the phone and chop it up it don't matter You there? You there? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Ashe. Ah,